I want to know why my niece got shot in the head. After they say 27-year-old Diamond Trueheart was shot and killed Thursday afternoon. So I decided to do a raffle instead because it's October, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's really dear to my heart because my grandmother is a breast cancer survivor, 13 years strong. So that's such a blessing. So I wanted to give back. Diamond Trueheart was a mother, a sister, an aunt, and a niece who was considered the pillar of her family, the glue that kept everyone together. Her family describes her as having a heart that shone bright. She was an entrepreneur, an owner, of Diamond Luxury Laces and Diamond Lux Studios, which provided hair care services, including braids, customized wigs, and natural hair care. On the afternoon of January 13th, Diamond, along with her aunt, were leaving the hair salon where they worked, located in Baltimore County's Catonsville Shopping Center, a relatively calm area of town. As they were leaving out, they heard gunshots, causing them both to run in opposite directions having no idea where the shots were coming from. Shortly after, officers responded to reports of a shooting only to discover a devastating scene. Police found a woman inside the vehicle suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. She was pronounced dead on scene. It's devastating. I'm just looking for information, really. I'm just really confused. A Baltimore family is searching for answers. I want peace. And I, I, I want to know why my niece got shot in the head. After they say 27-year-old Diamond Trueheart was shot and killed Thursday afternoon. Diamond was discovered in the parking lot with a bullet wound to the head and was pronounced dead on the scene. Her aunt, who realized she had been shot, ran over to Diamond in an attempt to revive her, but sadly witnessed her take her last breath. My mom called me and uh, she said her daughter and her niece Diamond, so Nikki and Diamond were walking out of her job and they just heard gunshots and then Diamond ran one way and uh, my sister Nikki ran the other way and they don't know where it came from or why. And Diamond's they, uncle they Cedric Holloway tells WJZ his sister and Diamond work at a salon in the Catonsville Plaza where police say she was gunned down. People who live nearby say it's unusual to hear about a shooting in that particular area and are concerned about the recent incidents of violence. It's getting to a point where you're afraid you even go outside the door. Where's the solution? Because nothing seems to be working. While Diamond's family works to heal from this tragedy, they say they want justice to be served. We lost a sparkle in our family, so it's just a dark cloud right now. Mr. Johnson says he was shopping in the area when that shooting went down in the parking lot right outside the store he was in. It was chaotic up here yesterday. I come out the market from shopping and... Yeah, about six or seven police up, up here. Police say when they responded, they found 26-year-old Diamond Trueheart, who had been shot down and died from her injuries. I think it's just tragic. I mean, we got enough people getting killed. Now we got the ladies and the kids getting killed. They think January 6th is crazy, but we go through it every day. Life is just, it doesn't mean nothing. Some people say if you live past 25, you lived your life. That's crazy. One of her very last tweets posted January 9th, just four days before she was murdered, stated, I wear so many hats and it can get overwhelming, but I actually love being so diverse and able to do so many things. I'm talented as F and I need to give myself credit for it. Baltimore police are looking into whether this was a targeted incident and are asking anyone with information to come forward. There is currently a $2,000 reward from Metro Crime Stoppers of Maryland for anyone who has information leading to an arrest.